Crack open up a Diet Dr. Pepper. Homeless Thomas here. Hi, hello, hi, how are you doing today? Um, lots of stuff going on in the world. So many things. Um, I'm gonna link some information down below about India, Palestine, and then also um, to the CDC because uh, masks information is changing on a regular basis. Science may have saved us all to have a summer that's assuming that you got vaccinated and that's on you, that's your decision, but um, I gotta tell you it's the wrong one if you choose not to get vaccinated. This has been sitting in my room for weeks, for weeks, and if you don't know what this is, if you can't tell, this is the Chantecaille Blurring Powder, and I have the shade Light Medium. Um, I bought this because of Teresa and Michelle Wong. Oh my God, why can't I open it up? There we go. And it is, looks like this. It's an interesting looking powder. I wasn't expecting it to be like a color. What we're here to do, what you and I are here to do today is to test this out. I'm also filming another video. So there's like a lot of things that are happening. I'll be going, starting that video and then coming back to this video any which way. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna zoom into my face. We're gonna zoom into my face, take a look, take a look at pores. On this side of my face, I'll be using the Bobbi Brown Face Base, which is not a pore filling primer. And then on this, the left hand side, this, okay, don't clock my nails. Don't clock my nails. I can already see it in the comments. I actually, you know, it's been a day. It's been a day so far. So I just want to see how blurry I can get this side of my face to see like if I can like make my face just like kind of disappear. Cause that's what will happen, right? Anyway, so let's take a look at the pores. I will tell you, let's, let's talk about my face. My typical issues with my pores happen right here. It's not often that I really care what it looks like, but it's, um, as we noticed in my review of the Giorgio Armani, I was having some issues texturally up front. I haven't um, recorded it in a minute. So uh, for the foundation, I wanted to stick with something that also that like didn't have any blurring claims. So this is the Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. I really like this foundation. It's just like, it's a nice foundation. It doesn't have like, I don't think it's doing, I don't hear doing the most. So yes, let, uh, let us prime this is the Tarte Primeless Poreless Primer. I need to tell you that I am like freshly showered and shaven. Um, and I did my morning routine this morning. The shower I took was to like wash off like workout goop, which I like, yeah, it needed to be done. You know, it was pretty gross. And I don't wanna put makeup on while I'm over some sweatiness, you know what I mean? It would be cute. So, and you can already see, like I like this primer because of this very reason. Look, just look at this side of my face. You know what I mean? Like it's already doing some work. And so I like the Bobbi Brown one cause it's just like very nice. I don't know how else to describe it. We're primed. And we are going to put on foundation, which I guess I really don't need to talk you through. I really don't. Um, but I do really like this foundation. Highly recommend. Has a pretty good shade range too. And uh, I don't know how much, you know, foundation I'm gonna put on. The one thing I like about this is that it's like one coat, like one pump, which is not normally the case for a foundation, is usually enough for me for this. So this is a finishing powder. So I will be like, do like I said, I will be doing some of my face off camera. Um, and we will come back. So the setting powder, not my finishing powder, the setting powder I'll be using is the kimchi setting powder, which is pretty nice, but doesn't, there's no promise of like pore filling or like blurring with that powder, which I think is like a good call. We're gonna try to keep it, is this, am I tan? Does this look so pale? I was outside yesterday, but like, did I get, my sunburned? What is happening? And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Tried and true. Really love this pairing. Um, yeah, it's gonna look great. Well, I like this pairing already. I know this is gonna be great. So I feel like I'm in a rush to go somewhere, but I have nothing to do. But like I said at the top of that video, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have things to do now. I am fully vaccinated. I got the Moderna shot. I am 
two weeks out from my second, I got um, the second dose like a little over two weeks ago. So I'm gonna loose powder, I'll tell ya. I'm gonna set with this Puff Puff Pass from Kim Chi. is more powder than I wanted to use but whatever we're in it now so I'm gonna go do the other parts of my face and I will be back to talk to you okay I'm back I played a little bit with the <laughs> Butopsy palette and if that video is not posted or if it is I will if it is <laughs> if it is posted I will I will I will link it I will link it in this corner right I'm like looking at my monitor I'm pretty sure it's the side <sighs> okay if you want to see that video, I'll have it linked up here. If it's not the first one I post, then I, I'm sorry, um, but this video will be coming soon. Let's recap for me. <laughs> this side has the Bobbi Brown. <laughs> this side has the Tarte. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. So we're finally coming in hot with this guy. We're going to go under the eyes. We're going to go forehead. We're going to go like cheek, but we're not gonna go where I, well, I we're not gonna go over top of the highlight. Okay, just, but we're gonna do, we're gonna focus here too. To be quite frank with you, I'm not sure what brush I want to use for this. I know Michelle Wong likes to use like a buffing brush, but I don't really have that. So I'm gonna use, this is like something I would use for like a light coverage foundation. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna put on this, just this side. I'm gonna be looking in the camera here, not in the camera, but in this mirror I have down here to see what happens. So I have it on both sides of my face. I'm gonna zoom you in. Um, first of all, I like took everything that was on my nose off, but like, again, this is like, that's pretty common for me just in general. So I'm just gonna touch that up. So like, let's look at the forehead here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I just like don't have the right brush for this or what, because I just, I felt like I could see it on my brush, right? And I put it on my face. I mean, is something happening? Okay, I'm gonna do my poses and then um, I will, if I have further thoughts about this, um, I will elaborate in what I can see. Okay, hold on. Something's happening. Okay, wait. <laughs> ah, ah! Um, okay, I'm gonna pose for a second, I'll be right back. I notice the blurring more so in the camera. Like in the camera, something is happening to my face. Something is happening to my face in this camera. In real life, in the IRL, in the IR, in the RL, God, I couldn't come up with that to save my life. I don't, I don't know. I'm looking a little cakey, but like, to be fair, I do have a lot of powder on my face and I haven't done my finishing spray yet. So let me, let me do some of that to see if I change my mind, if I... So, okay, so, <laughs> how many times will I say that today? I don't know. I am just trying to like come up with words with what's the phenomena that is happening currently. So, yes, I see it in the camera. I can, like in my monitor, I look fucking good. Um, 
eyeshadow TBD if I think I like it or not. Probably not. I'm, I'm at my vanity. You are like right in front of my vanity mirror. And when I look in the vanity mirror, I feel like I see the blurring. But when I look in a closer mirror, so like if I like look at this, like, from, okay, it fucking blurs, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This is obviously just like my first impressions, but like, I have waited for this to come back in stock because I wanted to buy it because Teresa and Michelle like rave about it, right? And so I really like wanted to, just wanted to check it out. Some things are happening to me right now and I don't really know what any of them are. I need to do red eyeliner more because I think it looks really good with my eyes, by the way. Just aside, aside. And I feel like my foundation looks like it doesn't match, but I did not, I did not, I did not really bronze today. So that's on me, that's on me. I just feel like I'm looking pale. I'm gonna, you know what, while I'm here, while we're talking, so I don't forget. Okay, I feel like that solved some of my problems that I was having looking at myself. <laughs> Which I could solve all of the problems I have looking at myself. This obviously isn't a review. I don't have final thoughts on this yet. I definitely used it today. So if that is a thought I can leave you with. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you didn't, whatever, I don't care. Um, have you ever tried this powder? Let me know. Am I using it wrong? Please help me. Am I using it right? Please help me. Things I need to know. I also have two podcasts I have recollect and it bears repeating. I'll have more details about those in my description box below as well as some links about those things I mentioned earlier in the video. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.